Guys, last week I made a video about forward-facing sonar and how it pertains to uh, Bassmaster Elite Series media and the Bass Pro Tour media. Now, what I mean by that is essentially what we as fans and what we as viewers are seeing uh, during the live coverage and ultimately the tournament coverage of these events. It seems to be coming a little stale and we're starting to see the same thing transpire tournament by tournament in that forward facing sonar is the leading pattern, if you will, of every single event. Now, some of you thought that I was hating on forward facing sonar and I want you to understand that I embrace the technology. I think it is amazing tech and I love it. Um, so this is not in any way hating toward any hate towards forward facing sonar, but as it pertains to live coverage in the elite series in particular, I do think that things are going to need to change. Ultimately the audience, we all want something different. We all want diversity and there are many of us that want to see the primal instincts of these anglers kind of play out in real time during the tournament and them utilizing their their gut if you will to find and catch fish you know you get to the lake and you just start looking around right before you even launch the boat sometimes you look down and look at the watercolor and you have a feeling about something because of the watercolor you're launching the boat and as you back the boat down you see a school of bluegills scare off and they're all that big, but they're really green on top of them. You know, it's stuff like that that's, that's key. And then there's an, another camp, you know, kind of the Gen Z generation that have been raised on tablets and raised on, on uh, technology that want to see more screen time. I have a game in there. I have I a low reach. You should learn. You that means something they to me. Sure. to us that you wouldn't game. I made a commitment to, to, commit to that. How many times I made a commitment to that. Holy shit! They want to see more forward-facing sonar tournaments. But I think there is a good compromise. Now, in the last video, some of you guys suggested uh, banning it altogether. Uh, some of you suggested nothing be done. Um, and some of you, you know, took the Chris Aldane approach and said, oh, just one transducer. Uh, one transducer, for the record, is not going to change a thing. People are going to throw it up on the bow of their boat. And, and, and they're going to fish the exact same way. Um, so as far as what we're digesting, it's going to be the same thing. What I suggest is that um, it not be banned uh, at all. I, I'm, I'm done with cancel culture. Uh, and I think that's, that's uh, a disservice to everyone to ban it. But instead limit it. So maybe on a four-day tournament, we have alternating days where we do one day with it, one day without one day with it, one day without. And in the case of the Bassmaster Classic, maybe they start off with, um, you know, in the morning, they, they split the day and essentially do in the morning, you use it in the afternoon, you don't. And then on the next day, uh, you can't use it in the morning, but you can use it in the afternoon, um, et cetera, et cetera. So I don't know if that's a good compromise or not. I'd love to hear your opinion. Uh, I do think it gives everyone a little bit of what they want. And uh, I think ultimately... Uh, and, and also for bass, it gives their advertisers what they want, their reader, their viewers what they want. Um, and, and so it just gives everyone the best of both worlds. And I think the pros would be happy with that. Although some of them may not be happy no matter what. But um, I think for the most part, it, it's going to it's going to provide everybody with a little bit of what they want. And um, hopefully it would it will showcase more diversity in the patterns and a more well-rounded angler will rise to the top instead of seeing uh, one trick ponies uh, winning tournaments day in and day out. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you have a different idea, I'd love to hear it. Let's keep this discussion civil and uh, hopefully we'll see you guys out on the water.